Good evening. A town shocked by the kidnapping and killing of a five-year-old girl turned out tonight to remember her. Elena Ertle died Saturday after a friend of her parents took her from their home in Watkins. Tonight, family, friends, and strangers held a candlelight vigil at a church near her home. We have team coverage this evening, including charges in her death, but we want to begin with WCCO's Jennifer Merrily live in Watkins. Jennifer. And Frank, there are still some people out here tonight. It seems as if the entire town came to this church parking lot for a service to honor Elena. Now, some people were just too stricken with grief to speak to us, but everyone here came together to be surrounded by friends and family, those who knew and loved the sweet five-year-old. Pink and purple balloons filled the night sky as kids released them to honor their friend, Elena Ertel. She is not alive and she is um, with God. Sounds of Frozen, Elena's favorite, came before prayer. Beautiful, shy, but like to play. More people than you could count filled the St. Anthony Catholic Church parking lot. A way to come together to remember a vibrant girl who was never without a smile. Like you just want to be here to support the community and the family and for this little girl who lost her life. It's just it's sad. Many wrestle with why this five-year-old with so much life ahead of her was taken. I just want to know why. What possesses people to do this? Parents who have lost a child share in the family sorrow. I'm so sorry that this happened to them. I'm so sorry it happened to her. That should no parent should ever lose their children. She was had too much life left in her. Too much life. And visitation will be held at the Ertl Funeral Home on Thursday evening and Friday morning. Elena's funeral will be held here back at the church at 1030 on Friday morning. And Frank, it seems that everyone in this tight-knit community and beyond has somehow been touched by this terrible tragedy. Well, it's just heartbreaking to watch those poor people and what they're going through. Jennifer, uh, thank you live in Watkins.